All right, so Saxon course two, lesson seven, is lines, angles, and planes. So here, we want to use symbols to name a line, two rays, and the segment in this figure on the right. Okay. So to name the line, the line is line AB, because that's the letters listed on our line. To show that it's a line, you're going to draw a line on top of it. Now, a line has to have two arrows because a line can goes on forever. Okay? You could also write it as BA. Um, it doesn't matter which direction you go. Okay? The rays, that's where you start at a point and you go off in another direction for infinity. So the segments I have here, or sorry, the rays I have here, is again, you're going to use the same letters, A and B, but to show the ray, the ray only has an arrow in one direction. So it's going to be ray A, B, or B, A. And then a line segment is where there's a beginning and an end to the line. So again, that's going to be A and B, or B and A. But the line on top for these ones has no arrows because it's just a line segment. This next one is in the figure. AB is 3 centimeters and AC is 7 centimeters. Find BC. So if I know that AB is 3 centimeters and then I know the whole thing is 7 centimeters. So to find my missing amount, I'm going to subtract 3 centimeters from 7 centimeters to find the missing length. Okay? And that is equal to 4 centimeters. That's your answer. Okay. So here we have um, another shape or another plane and it asks which line is parallel to line AB. Okay. So line AB is up here. Okay, that's line AB. And parallel means that it's that they will never cross. The two lines will never cross because they're exactly parallel. So the line that is exactly parallel to AB is line CD. So the answer to A is CD and then make sure to make it a line on top. And the next one is which line is perpendicular to AB? And perpendicular means that it meets at a right angle. So the line that meets at a right angle is line BD. So BD would be line BD. That's your answer. Okay, here there's lots of different angles in this figure. So I want to need to name the different types. So an A name of the straight angle. So that just means it's going to be a straight line. So my straight line is here. It's AMD. So you would write for A, you'd write angle A, M, D, or you could write it as D, M, A. Either way works. Okay. Uh, B, name the obtuse angle. So the obtuse angle means it's going to be greater than 90 degrees. So the angle that's greater than 90 degrees is going to be A, M, C. It's going to be angle A, M, C, or it's angle C, M, A. Notice that the vertex of the angle is always the middle letter. Okay. Now on C, it's asking to name two right angles. So our first right angle is B, M, A. B, M, A or angle A, M, B. Okay. And that mean and the second right angle, oops. The second right angle, even though it doesn't show it, is going to be on the other side. So that's going to be B M D. Because since this angle, B M A is a right angle, this one next to it has to be a right angle as well. Okay. So the other one would be angle B M D or angle D. M, B. The last question is name two of the acute angles. That means there's name two acute angles. That means they're smaller than 90 degrees. Okay, so the first acute angle is going to be C, M, D, and the other one is going to be 
BMC. Because those two angles together make 90 degrees, so that means they have to be smaller than that. So on D, angle, DMB, oh sorry, not DMB, DMC, okay, and angle CMB. And again, you can write those in either order. All right, and this last problem is a power pole of two cross pieces can be represented by three segments. Okay. It wants us to name a vertical segment, a horizontal segment, and a segment perpendicular to CD. Okay. Vertical means that it's going up and down. Okay. So a vertical, the vertical segment is going to be AB with the segment line over it. Or you could write that, of course, as BA. On B, the name a horizontal segment, we have two here to choose from. We could either you do CD, which is a segment, or you could do EF. And then C, name a segment perpendicular to CD. So here's CD. So the line that is perpendicular to it is going to be line AB, because it meets at a 90 degree angle. So it's going to be segment AB. That's it for this lesson.